United States president pacing the field for the great American race. Can you still pace the field? Yep. <laughs> Love it. Gosh, it's awesome. Drivers, this is President Trump, and it was an honor to open the Daytona 500. Have a phenomenal day. Have a great race. Be safe. God bless you. We love you. And I know he knows what I'm talking about. With all these cameras and radios, well, I can't speed down pit road. I can't cheat, because you guys can see the tack. I can't give any bad gestures to my fellow competitors. I can't get angry and say any bad words. This is tough. <laughs> I feel your pain right now, pal. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. He's having a smack. Have a cowtail, but when these cowtails get real hot, you can't unwrap them, so I'm doing the best I can here. All right, let's listen in on the 22 radio. 18 wants you to play nice. He doesn't like the way you're playing with him tonight, so leave that up to you. Do what you want. Tell him I don't like him either. Deal with it. <laughs> kind of what I figured, but passing a message along. He has to be telling him that the leaders are coming. Oh, we're not by there. Look out. What the hell is that dude doing? Okay, stay in it. Well, 18's done. He's out of gas. Out there, Robbie. Oh. That really killed us, you guys. This is stupid. Marty. Get the pit road. We'll get a gas. Get the meat the right here. Bill, you can hear the conversations. Matt Kenda saying this was stupid, guys. This killed us. He said, I'm out of gas. I'm out of gas. The last lap. Matt and I'm proud of you. But when the leaders come up and start passing you, we're going too slow. Okay, 10-4. I'm going to pick up the speed when the leaders are passing me. Understood. 10-4. So, so wait till they get there and then go. <laughs> I hope there's more conversation. We in here. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have this exactly. Need to pick the speed up before they get there. They can... Here's what Kyle Busch had to say about the warning. Asked us to the 29 to stop playing games and actually race. I delivered the obvious message we're the one getting run all over the place. Yeah. Nice of them to try to warn both of us. There's only one operative guy that you got to warn. Thank you. I don't know where this fight came from. I am so psyched. That's what she said. That's my joke. Damn it, Dwight. Never been so disgusted in my whole entire life. This is pathetic. The lap I passed somebody. We get a yellow, so now I don't get the fourth position on the restart. You've got to be kidding me. Is this 2013, 2012 again? I think they'll go back to the loop. We should be ahead of them. We should be ahead of them. I don't want to be ahead of them. That's the problem. That team thinking. You've got to be kidding me. What a f joke. Get together. What the f What the f I seriously hate this fucking kid. I wanna, I hate him. Like, who the hell does he think he is? Don't worry about it. You're fine. Think of it as coming to the green, straddling the second seam, qualifying, right? It's like just, think of the outside as like that big cardiac arrest burger that you like from Five Guys. You're like, oh, I can't have that. But once you take a bite, it's like the best thing ever. That's basically how the outside is. Okay. I'm not gonna speak your language. You them big ass burgers you eat, all right? We're the lucky dog. Did we go lap down? Yeah. Oh. Inside's been checking up every time on the restart the first lap. I think you learned that last time. I tried it twice and what is it? Something like once it's my fault, second, I don't know, something and I don't know. Anyways. Well, we've seen these two uh, get together earlier in the day, and they have found each other again, Jeff Green and Jeremy Mayfield. Mayfield tries to pull away and almost came in contact with some cars. I want going you to the remember outside. that. I want you to remember that real quick. Show my ass right here after this race. They can throw me out of NASCAR. There's some uh, temper and some frustration showing here this afternoon. You look real good in one and two. I think you learned a few times that you were overdriving the interest there, and you learned how to kind of get up off that corner better. Uh, you still send it into three times a little too hard where I'm at. Looks like you could go in a little easier and keep it, keep it lower. Even though you go in hard, you run off real good. The car's really good. looks really good. If the 25 is a decent car, 
kind of turning down pretty decent, but just, just keep reminding yourself not to overdrive. He said he was going to do it on the radio. I think he'd actually do it. Put me in the wall. Hit my left front fender and put me in the wall. Yeah, he got on the radio and said he hopes we better have dollies here. Get off of it. Jessica 99, what his problem is. Somebody needs to explain to that dumb who the f he is. I think he is, man. I'm telling you, that pissed me off right there. I tell you, he's having so much fun out there. Well, just listen to this. Does that give me a bonus, Mr. Penske, sir? Not yet. Complimenting one of the owners, I think, should you know, warrant something. Still got a long ways to go. We got to keep focused. Not make any more, not make any mistakes here. Let some worry work. Having fun this year now. We're doing all right. I got my focus on for you, Shannon. Just gonna keep trying to click off laps like this. Well, I have to be the pessimist out of the group. Oh yeah, I forgot. Mr. Pesky said, yeah, you get a bonus. <laughs> now, that last voice is Buddy That's Baker. Buddy what Baker. is this, a lounge act? <laughs> I'm telling you. And, and, and here I was telling you, you, you know, you don't have time to talk around here and they're just having a normal conversation. Got down into turn one. Got run down on the apron by Todd Bodine. Stay in the gap. Right, gas it, gas it, gas it. All right. Oh, don't gas it. <laughs> Clear high. Move it up. Go back to the right rear and tighten the lug nut. Tighten the lug nut. We're going to be fine. NASCAR kind of f***ed us on that deal there. Now, Jimmy. Woo! Back to him, Jimmy. Oh, motherfucker. Take your fucking seat. Once the green flag waved in Martinsville, it didn't take long for short track action to heat up. Doc, you gotta be kidding me. Coming to that 30, how'd he end up there? It looked like he went in there to spot. It amazes me how we wreck a race car. The last car, the last car, how do we run into somebody? I told you this would happen. So I said, lay back, let them all go down the first corner, because I promise you they're gonna wreck. I told you over and over again, dude, I preached it, and you didn't hold him back. Loose in, loose off, two down. Tight in the middle. Piece of Fuel and left sides right here. Four. Four. Give me a four. I'm sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. Dang it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What tires? Go. Oh, God. Back him up. Back him up. Back him up. Back him up. Gosh dang it. I think that was about 12 spots. Nobody was coming. I needed to put four on it. Sorry, guys. I didn't get any help on pit in, so you saw what happened. I about got crashed because I was so fast coming in. Yeah. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. You know, you say just pit with people. Well, it's really hard to do that when you just come out of the corner and slam on the brakes. So I'm sorry I missed pit in, but I about crashed with two cars on the way in. We just need a more organization when it comes to pitting on speedways. We now return you to your previously scheduled program.